To make our apple pastry roses, you will need some puff pastry sheets. Doesn't matter what brand you use. A mandolin or a really sharp fucking knife. Some lemon juice, uh, some butter that I've just kind of melted down, a little brushy brush here. Uh, red apple, green apple, you can use whatever kind of apples you want. I think it's a Red Delicious and a Granny Smith. Some brown sugar and the secret ingredient, Cinnadust. Yeah. We're trying something different, folks. Has anybody made anything with Cinnadust yet? I don't think so. I've looked. So, we'll see what happens. So let me warn you, don't pull a me. I took a uh, Red Delicious apple and cut it in half, and I probably should have cored it out first and just wasn't thinking. Uh, I did the same thing on my second apple, then I tried to go ahead and correct it, and that just, yeah, it didn't work. Um, I ended up just tossing the whole thing out and having to start all over again with this little Granny Smith one. After I realized the error of my ways, I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and try to salvage this Red Delicious apple. So I just kind of just cut the inside of it out and just ripped it out like some kind of a horror movie to get the core out of the thing. And then I went through the cupboards and I actually found my actual apple core. So I went ahead and took care of that with the other apple. And then make sure you uh, wash your uh, fruits and vegetables, folks, in this case your fruit. Took out the old mandolin, gave it a couple slices, didn't like it, so I changed the thickness on it, tried that one, went back to the original since it was working so much better. Go ahead and slice up your apple very carefully, making sure not to take off your fingers or your fingertips, or even use the guard. Also, if you can at this point, do me a favor and click on the subscribe button below and uh, you know, help me grow my channel a little bit so I can uh, make some more content and more videos. After you finish up your apples, go ahead, you're going to add in two tablespoons of lemon juice into your bowl. Fill it up with water, and then I didn't think it was enough, so give it a couple more squirts. The next stop on our culinary destination here is to uh, sprinkle a board with some uh, flour. Grab your puff pastry from the fridge, or actually it should have been sitting on the counter, you know, getting room temperature by now but I probably should have mentioned that ahead of time anyways uh, flip it around both sides get your out your uh, Nana's rolling pin and make sure you go ahead and get all the little bumps and crevices and everything out of it and we want to stretch it the pastry out to about uh, 12 by whatever so in this case I think I went 12 by 8 uh, maybe just a little bit more than that, maybe uh, 12 by 9, somewhere around that area. And then what I did is I just squared up one side. And after that was all squared up, I just kind of used that as my straight edge. And what you want to do is you want to cut two inch strips. And I just laid that strip on top of the next one, and then laid that one on top of the next one. So on and so forth, rinse and repeat. And in this case, I ended up with four different pastry uh, strips here. Uh, to make my little pastry roses. Take your newly formed two inch pastry strips, grab your apples and grab your butter because that's what you're going to need next. Go ahead and uh, paste some butter down on here to add a little bit more flavor and some depth to it. Plus it gives everything nice something to stick to. So we're going to add some brown sugar on here. I have some uh, dark brown sugar I'm going to go ahead and put on. And then after we put a little uh, little sprinkle sprinkle of that on, then we're going to hit it with that cinna dust. That's right, folks. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Dust. You know, the shit you found at the bottom of the bag that you put on the table and did lines of when you were an eight-year-old kid or maybe it was just me anyways we're gonna go ahead and start layering your apples now a little bit of word of the wise here word of the wise yeah a little, little disclaimer um forgot to actually pat these dry so i was just taking them right out of the water um this was a rookie mistake and i totally regret doing that however it did turn out okay but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your apples out. You're going to want to set them down onto some paper towels or a cooling rack or something to get some air around it. And you also want to dry these things off because you, you, it, it gets kind of messy. It turns into like a soggy, gooey goo. But fortunately, uh, in this situation, it actually ended up turning out in the end. So what you're going to do is you're just going to layer these all up on here and make sure your apples all nice and fit and you want your uh the colors to be up top then i put hit them with another sprinkle of the, some brown sugar on there and then that cinnadust 
Yeah, because you have to say it like that. And then you fold over the bottom flap of your pastry. Uh, so you're kind of creating like a little pocket, if you if you will. And then you're just going to start at one end. You're just going to roll that thing up, trying to get it tight. You know, when you used to roll them up, you know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's a little wee joke there. Go ahead and follow along. And another one. So here we go. This one, not really a rose, more of some type of like top of a passion fruit or something, but we'll go with it. That one by far seems to be the best one. I got the, the cream of the crop there for the best part of the apples, not even gonna lie. Uh, this one was just kinda, well, we'll see what happens with that guy and we'll see what happens with this guy when this all cooks up now. So now we're going to take these and throw them in the oven, 375 for, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so. So, hmm, maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll make a glaze with it. I don't know yet. Okay, now into the oven they go. Three hundred and fifty, no, 375 for uh, 45 minutes. I don't know about you guys, but... I think those roses are going to need a little uh, little love on top. So what we're going to do here is got some cream cheese, uh, about five ounces worth here that I weighed out. Uh, that's about five ounces by weight, by the way. Uh, and then one cup of powdered sugar or 10x sugar. Let me go ahead and throw that in here. And then uh, we have four tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're going to go ahead and start mixing that all together. Now, once you get to this stage here, oh, it's kind of hard to see there. Yeah, I know, lighting. Uh, once we get to this stage, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw in one teaspoon of our Simply Organic. I just find this stuff tastes better, to tell you the honest to God truth. And I think I only have, oh, look at that. Are you kidding me? Last freaking drop. All right. We're gonna go ahead and one of them in. And shit, forgot the milk. Probably should have warmed this up a little bit, but we're gonna add a little bit of milk in here. Nice and fluffy. It's super yummy yum. Let's go ahead and get these things out of the oven, shall we? So these have been cooking for, well, about 40, 45 minutes. Looks like uh, they look fairly done. Nice golden on the outside here, okay? Looks a little gooey on the inside. We got a little, uh, 
little tippy tip action here on the outsides. So now we got to get those guys out of there. Let's get us a quick plate. Do a sharp knife. Go around the edge a little bit. You are supposed to serve these hot, straight out of the oven. There we go. Get a little loose here. Get it right there in the middle of the center of the plate. All right, perfect. Now let's move, move this guy over a bit. Because you are the star of the show. So let's put you right there. Hold that thought. You know what? I got a wonderful idea here. Let's do this. Let's move this guy for a second. Let's do this. Okay. I'm gonna pause this. We're gonna do a little reverse action here. So we're gonna take some of this, we're gonna go like this, we're gonna kind of snow the plate. Okay, leaving a couple spots open there. Take these guys off, do a little, uh, little swirly swirl. Why? I have no fucking idea. But then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put drop ours right up in the middle here. Gonna hit that little, uh, little powdered sugar. We'll take these and Go for that little pretty look. Way too much on top, but you know what? Don't care, cause, all right, maybe that's a little bit too much there. Yeah, that's, okay, well, well, we'll change it out. We'll do this, okay? Cause this is internet magic here. Okay, so we'll take another one. Literally nothing ever happened. See this folks? How many other people are gonna do a full on blooper and then leave it? Probably nobody else. All right. I'm gonna take this one like so. Put it right there. Okay, same thing, a little, uh, little dusting, like that. And we can't really clean that up a little bit, but we'll do that. All right, now we're, we're not going to go so heavy this time. Now we're just going to... Like that. Okay, and then maybe another... That way. Boom. Done. Clean up your mess. Or at least try to. And there you go. I know it's kind of hard to see like this, but I'll include some pictures. Till next time. Bon appetito. Eat that shit. Here we have our final product. In all its splendor. Look at that. Gonna go for the extreme close up now. Whoa, the paint over. Look at that. I know what I'm doing.